Hello, I'm Joe Wren. Education reform rocks was the message of the day at the State House Monday as students, teachers, parents, and lawmakers renewed the call for strengthening school choice. Students representing schools from around the state took part in the rally, celebrating Indiana's recent education initiatives, including expanded charter schools and the statewide voucher program. But Governor Mike Pence says there's still a lot of work to do, citing 12 percent of Hoosier students failed to graduate last year. And the Indiana Lieutenant Governor recently announced the launch of a new state office designed to attract defense industry to Indiana and coordinate companies within the state. WTIU's Gretchen Frazee reports on how the industry's key players hope to benefit from the new initiative. The Office of Defense Development has several goals, all focused on boosting the defense industry in the state. But officials at Naval Surface Warfare Center Crane say they're particularly interested in the office's promise to promote the commercialization of intellectual property the military develops. We would open our doors to industry, uh, look for partnerships, uh, look for the ability to share our IP, and then be a ready partner to help test products and help industry launch those products. The military would then benefit because when it needed the products for warfare, it would already have a manufacturer. The office will be located in Bloomington, a location the lieutenant governor says was chosen as a connecting point between several defense bases, including Crane, Muscatatuck Urban Training Complex, and Camp Atterbury. But contractors say they think the office will provide better communication between all defense facilities across the state, not just in south central Indiana. There's disparate regions, uh, the northeast region, of course we have, uh, we have what we have down here in southern Indiana as well as central Indiana with some of the guard bases and Rolls-Royce and et cetera. So this will give us a, this will give us a common voice, it will give us one voice. Contractors say they hope the economic boost will also alleviate some of the cuts expected from sequestration. For WTIU News, I'm Gretchen Frazee. Mostly cloudy in the forecast tonight with lows down to 27 degrees. Breezy tomorrow, mostly cloudy with highs up to 43 degrees. Then a slight chance of snow tomorrow night. Overnight lows falling to 26 degrees in the five-day forecast. 39 the high on Wednesday. Again, a slight chance of snow before partly cloudy conditions Thursday and Friday. Temperatures starting to rise for the weekend, 53 on Friday, 54 by Saturday, with a slight chance of rain. And for more on these stories and other local news, go to indianapublicmedia.org.